Welcome to the Regional Garden at the United States Botanic Garden. I'm Deputy Executive Director Dr. Susan Pell, and today I'm going to talk to you about American Witch Hazel, Hamamillus virginiana. We've got a couple of specimens here that I'm going to share with you, and both of them are going into their gorgeous fall foliage. So you can see here these beautiful golden leaves, and uh, this is a, a kind of a small shrub uh, that grows in the eastern half of the United States. It's um, found from Texas up to Minnesota and east and to all the states uh, in the eastern half of the United States. It blooms October to November, sometimes into December. You can see this is a cultivar that we have here. It's called Champlin Red and it has kind of reddish petals. You can see it's got four petals there and then those little dots you can see in the middle, those are the stamens. Let's take a look at the the straight species Hamamelis. We can see that it has these golden flowers that are quite beautiful. They're spread throughout uh, the plant and um, along the uh, tips of the branches here. You can see here some more of that beautiful fall foliage. We're gonna take a closer look at these flowers and I'll show you some of the, the structures that are make it uh, very fascinating to me from a morphological perspective. Again, here we can see those four stamens on the, on the edge there, and then right in the middle uh, is the, the pistil, the, the female part of the flower. Let's take a closer look. I've switched to my macro lens, and now we can see up close this beautiful flower. Those little two little dots in the middle there, that's the pistil, the two um, stigmas of that pistil. And then we can also see the four structures around that, the little knobby kind of things. Those are the stamens and they have dehissed or opened up their anther flaps to release their pollen. And these flaps are, are diagnostic, really characteristic of hemimillus. And they, uh, they pop towards the middle of the flower. If you imagine sort of throwing your arms back, that's kind of how these flaps open up. And in doing so, they release the pollen from the anther sacs. Now, just behind them, towards the outside of the flower, you can see the four sepals of the calyx of this flower. And then the long straps jetting out from it, those are the four yellow petals of this beautiful plant. It's important to note that um, this species blooms October to November, sometimes into December, but other species of hamamelis actually bloom deeper into the winter. Uh, the Chinese hamamelis actually blooms um, in uh, February to March and uh, is really a, a, a winter bloomer, but in still, all of these plants are actually insect pollinated. So even though they're blooming at a time when there are far fewer pollinators around, they are insect pollinated. Hamamillus virginiana, the American witch hazel, is pollinated by flies and also bees, and the Chinese witch hazel might be pollinated by, uh, by moths that can actually sort of shiver to maintain their, their warm enough body temperatures in order for them to fly around in those cold February, March uh, days. So fascinating plant, blooming in the winter and fall, but is insect pollinated. Thanks for joining me today to talk about witch hazel. I look forward to our future botanical adventures.